Welcome to Farming Simulator 2013, the Titanium Edition. There we go. My name is Stucco Gloss. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, I'm going to kick off uh, Season 3 of my Farming Sim Let's Play. I think um, Season 2 was, was a lot of fun. It was um, very modded, and um, you know, including the map. Uh, I'm just going to move that to one side. I'm not completely finished with uh, Season 2, but uh, I think I might be doing a bit more on the live stream type thing. So... Don't worry, I still there. I still saved, um, and uh, since this come out, I, I, I thought I should do a a full let's play of uh, what is it the Westbridge Hill map? Uh, I think you know there's a lot of people using the, you know having the Xbox and the PS3, and they're probably not quite sure what it's all about. So hopefully I'm going to um, uh, teach isn't the right word. I'm not the sort of person to teach people how to play this game. <laughs> I, I kind of teach myself, but. Um, yeah, we're going to have a play and see what happens. So, we're going to delve into it. God, I haven't done this for ages. We're going to have a new career game. There we go. Please choose a level of difficulty. Well, I'm going to choose easy because um, I want... What I've been told about the Westbridge Hill map is very American, very flat, very big. And, and you know, we need some big, big equipment. So, I want to get the money in uh, to... to uh, to make that easier for me. So we're going to go easy. And we're going to go to Westbridge Hills. So claim your brand new farm in the land of opportunity. And start a fresh career. Agricultural products are an important economic pillar in Westbridge Hills. And you can get the chance to become the region's main supplier. Uh, the new vehicles are especially suited to cultivate the extensive fields of Westbridge Hills. So, stock of gloss. We kind of... Uh, uh, we we taken over the farm um at uh, the two rivers or beacon hill farm we called it and um yeah we we've uh, we've been sort of kind of moved on to westbridge uh, the farm i left to uh, to my other brother uh, from another mother and uh, he's looking after that farm for us while we've uh, gone on to try our just to dip our toes in, in into the american market and see if we can you know we've done the european thing let's go over to america and see if we can uh, See if we could do it. So we can see the American flag. Wow, that's a big fields. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, it feels weird starting again. I gotta say the the um you can see the interface has changed slightly as well, so uh Oh some running water. Yeah, well here we are, peeps. This is the Westbridge Hills map. Let's uh, find out what uh <coughs> Ah, tractors we got. Okay, so we've got the yellow... Uh, what is this called? I've forgotten what that was called. I've, I've lost money already. I don't, I don't know how uh, I've lost any money. Uh, we got, um, oh, I suppose all the upkeep, upkeep and all our... Uh, so we've got the farm farm all there. You've got these... Uh, that's it, the brewer. Bahura. Bahura. Uh, we've got a trailer, cedar, cultivator, plow. Um... There's our big silos. This has a kind of um, a 2011 feel to it so far. That's my initial reaction. Do you know, I've literally only just logged into this map to to, to see if it will run okay and it wasn't gonna be laggy or anything and uh, check the sound levels and stuff. But my first initial reaction to this, just seeing them there, I guess, is is kind of uh, 2011. Farming Sim 2011. Right, what else have we got? Got you, got you. Ah, okay. I guess <laughs> size this field as a as a start off field. That's not a bad field. So first of all, we've got to turn the beacon on, and then we're going to uh, hire a worker. We're going to be cutting our grass for us. Brilliant. Yeah, you're going to get full very very quickly. Oh, where are we now? Let's uh, get our... Oh, what was that? Flour. Oh, the flour mill. So we've got a diner, a flour mill, um, a restaurant, a train station, and a warehouse. Okay. Uh, where's... What have we got? Statistics. Yeah, we've got loads and loads of... Uh, I forgot how much you start with when you're on easy. Wow. Okay. We should be doing okay then. Uh, close you. Okay, so we're, we're basically oh, on the map, are we? Oh, we're right down the bottom. Uh, that looks to be the cow pasture. 
There we go. Uh, and we're back into the farm. The farm all. Okay, I've still got course play. And I will be using it. So I, I, I apologise for the peeps that are... Uh, oh, I like this. I'm not big fans of uh, course play. I'm going to use you for... Uh, Oh, you might not have a... Oh, yeah, you have got a three-point hiccup. There we go. Why can't I connect to you? Have I got to manually c connect it now? No. Welcome to <laughs> Farming Simulator Season 3. You won't believe I'm on Season 3. Why can't I hook that up? Get into this green one to see if it's. Oh right, okay. Obviously, the green one can't. Uh, for some reason, can't connect. All right, let's go and load you in. We're going the wrong way. Wow, these fields are huge. Look at this, this number eleven field in front of us. Yeah, we're going to be uh, quite busy. That's not a bad thing, is it? Being busy. There's you in. He's stopped already. Right, what we're going to do. Is oh, don't drive on the crops. So this is number sixteen, and look, it's the smallest out of all the fields around us. So, uh, oh wow! All right, let's stop there. Open this up. I get yeah, no, we haven't got any. So start the course recording. And uh, people on Xbox and PS3, you're not going to have this little uh, cheat. But, um, right, two eggs. But uh, for the PC people, make sure you get uh, course play. It really does. I think it, it, it benefits the game a lot because it's not so much cheating, it's it's a bit different. It When you. If I had my own farm, um, I would pay somebody to do, you know. The, the tedious tasks, as in unloading you in on the field. You know, I'll, I'll probably be the dude sat in the combine officer because you know that's, that's that's a great thing to do, isn't it? Sitting in the combine officer, going up and down the field. Um, so uh, yeah, I'd probably pay somebody to do this. I wouldn't uh, tend to do this myself. Uh, and the friend, we can't press the H button or whatever button it is on the Xbox and PS3. We can't do that because um, it doesn't understand what it wants us to do. So this is the course play mod. It's like pressing the H button, asking your employees to do something. So, right, we're going to stop the course. Uh, yep. It's going to be no empty combine and offload. Empty combine and offload. Just that one. Combine. It's going to be that. It's going to be a manual. Search. There we go. And we're going to save that as unload field 16. There you go. Done. Drive the course. So we're going to leave uh, Zachary here. He's going to uh, hopefully unload the combine for us. And then when he gets full, he's going to empty it into our silos. Uh, we might need to change some of the par parameters on the... Nope, it's fine. Awesome. Right, we've got plenty to do, don't worry. Uh, might as well pick up that weight. Um... 
we could do with another trailer. It's just, oh, I don't know what I, I don't know. It just freaks me out a little bit when I see this new interface. It, I, it might. I don't know whether this is the same on the Xbox. You guys are gonna have to tell me. I haven't played this on the Xbox or seen any videos as of yet. So, um, let me know. Now I've still got all my mods. Um, here we go. Tippers. How much we got? We got eleven grand. Okay. Oh, it's a shame. I can. Oh, that's a container. I don't want that one. Oh, a man trailer. But do I need a really powerful? There's a Richard Weston. Um, what else have I got? I want to go for the man trailer. Oh, this is could bite me at the bum. Uh, let's go. We haven't been to the store yet, and do you know what? I'm going to drive to the store because let's put the beacon on. Uh, I've got to find out where I'm going first. So where is the store? The store, the shop is. No, we want the um. N is the biogas plant. Just so you know, I, I've got a picture of the map on my second monitor. Um, flour mill shop, freight yard, campsite village, warehouse, garden center. I guess it's shop then. Oh, hang on. um, a drive-in theater. Wow. I guess the only one I can see is shop. So uh Yeah, let's uh, let's go exploring. So this is our farm, this is where we live. In the middle of nowhere, by the looks of it. We've got these massive this it, this field is uh this map is huge. Uh there's okay, there's a showroom. Oh that's good. Good, good, good. Oh. I don't know. Other fields, do you think, maybe too um, too big? Oh, water sh shortage. Oh, I don't want to be doing these just yet. I better turn them off. Um, the map. Oh, let's let's have a look at the map, peeps. There we go. So w we are just here. So there's a shop. I think. Yep, that's the shop. There's our farm. There's our field that Ewan's doing now. Um, what we got over here? We got I, which is the flour mill. So this is the flour mill. Uh, J, which is down here. That there is the sheep pasture. So this is where we keep our sheep. Uh, down here we got P and Q, which is the spinnery and the diner. So that's where we sell and uh, sell our stuff. Um, coming back around here, this is O, which is that's the cow pasture that we've what we've been. You can see there by the three tanks. You know that's going to be the biogas plant, which is N, and M, which is just here, is the restaurant, where we sell our goods as well. Here is L, which is the dairy, and I think that's just rock there. There is F, which is the freight yard, so the freight yard is just up here. Uh, e, which is just below, just there, is um, the camping site loads of fields, there we go. Um, we we'll go get here, we've got the village along here, so I think this is where you sell your eggs and stuff. Um, a and B, A is the baseball field, obviously <laughs> you can have a baseball field on an American map. <laughs> and you got a garden centre uh, and a warehouse. So yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything. Right, let's turn off Mission frequency no missions. So hopefully we're we're powerful enough to uh to use this man trailer and then we can start selling all our Yeah, we're okay. Good, good, good. Well, first of all, as this is a mod, we need to go out and have a look. I haven't bought this on any of my, uh, on my plays, but, uh, yeah, it's massive. It's got these funky metal things. There we go. Um, I guess that, uh, unhinges itself to, uh, to release its goods. Brilliant.
Uh, what can it hold? I don't know. We'll find out. Well, that's good that the uh, the shop is not so far away. Um, I think historically the farming sim shops have always been uh, miles away from the actual farm. So I'm, I'm glad. Oh no, saying that 2011, it, that wasn't that far either. So I'll take that back. Right, what are we going to sell first? Let's sell some. We've got wheat. We've got corn. Barley. No. Canola. Barley. And wheat. Let's sell some wheat. Wheat is the. Uh, is that. That icon? There we go. So to find out how much we're going to sell the wheat for, so we just go for the best price. So the diner is 11.71. Oh, go back. Uh, restaurant. Oh, train station 12.06. Okay, so we're going to the train station. And the train station from on my map is train station. Um. There isn't a train station on my map. Oh, great. It could be Freight Yard, which is F. Well, let's go that way and have a look. Wouldn't it be, like, wouldn't it say Freight Yard? Actually says train station. Anyway, let's go explore. This is a new map. Let's get back onto the road. I'm just gonna check on uh, Ewan and Zachary. You're doing okay. Yeah, you still going? Brilliant. Uh, turn the beacons on. So we're gonna come out here. Let's go that way. I think it's F, which is just past the shop, and up a bit. I'm only go in this view just because we can see a lot more of the world of this beautiful expansive huge map world I'm interested to go into the drive-in theatre I don't think I've ever been to a drive-in theatre before or a baseball field I've never been on a baseball field, baseball field so I might check them out as well this episode I'll show the uh, show the map so you can see whereabouts we are and where we're going. Because I know it's quite helpful. Uh, a lot of people have mentioned in my uh, Farming Sim Series 1 that um, it was really good that we, we explored the map first uh, and then got down to farming. So there's the train. It's got to be the train station then, isn't it? It's got to be. Got to figure out where to sell it. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. So we got uh, how much money we got? Well, we've only got a grand, one thousand six hundred. Let's see how much we got when we sold all this. Lovely money. Okay, so we sold it. We got 22 grand. That's a great start. Let's head back. You notice I haven't course played it because basically I want to travel everywhere and just get a feel for the for the map, where everything is. We know where the freight yard is. Um, or the train station, as they call it. Yeah, I really can't believe the size of these 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 fields. It's huge. It's 
So you can see there, I've got the um, uh, the top left below the uh, the silver box. I've got the sort of inspector mod, which tells me basically what my workers are doing. Uh, as you can see there, the the far M66, which is the combine, is 100%. Uh, sorry, 68%, uh, 69%. So I know it's working. And then I've got the uh, view her 6135. <laughs> It's going to be emptying that fairly soon, so it's just a quick indication about you know what all your uh, your workers are, are doing. Make sure they're working and earning their money. Wouldn't want them slacking off now, would we? All right. So let's, uh, let's sell now our barley. So where's the best place to sell barley then? So restaurant, train station again. There's twelve, twelve forty-seven at the warehouse, and at the diner. Well, let's go to the diner. The diner sounds like fun. So this right here. Where is the diner? I'm gonna find the diner on me map first. The diner, Q. Right. So we're going that way. I hope this is helping you all. Um, it certainly would help me if I was kind of new to this game and I, I didn't know where everything was. Uh, I'm not quite sure if the Xbox version, something you guys can tell me really, the Xbox version and the PS3 version has the um, Hagenstad map or is it literally just the, uh, the Westbridge Hills map? I'm not sure. So we are going to go straight over at this junction. Alex, should we like, um, is that the sheep place? J, sheep, yep, yeah, that's our sheep pasture there. Um, heading off to the diner with our barley. Oh no, flour mill at 1323. We need to go to the flour mill instead. Aye. Alright, let's go to the diner and then we go to the flour mill. I, d I didn't realise the price of the flour mill was higher than the, uh, the diner, but. Uh, we're nearly there now, so let's just check that out. Oh, look at those snow-capped mountains. It's beautiful. All those fields. Very picturesque. Right, where are we? This should be the diner. There's a... Uh, Oh, a couple of people were walking around. Yeah, we're at P and Q, which is a spinnery. So this is where we sell our uh, our wool, which is great because it's right next to the sheep pasture. They've actually thought about where they put the buildings now, which is great. And um, there's the diner. That's like a, an American diner in the middle, next to a woolery. See, my visions of that of having uh, an American diner like that. I get. Hang on, this is. Sorry, the, a typical Brit view, I guess, but I'd expect that to be on a main road somewhere. <laughs> um, not hidden behind uh, a huge woolery. But uh, that's, 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 ju that's just me. Anyway. Um, right. Let's get the tracker. So we're off to the flour mill, which is back this way. So where we've seen the sheep, we should have taken a left there, instead of going straight on. I know it might be tedious to, you know, for some people who, who've never played this map before, but um, it is helping some peeps out, so please bear with us. Uh, we can see the far, the uh, common harvester is still working. Can't see. Oh, there we go. We can just about make it out. Whoa. Move tree. Can we see it? There. You can just see the, the kind of um, wheat just disappearing as as, uh, as the compound eats it up. Alright, we come back down this here. And we can see it in our distance. That's where we need to go. That's where the uh, the flour mill is. So we come down there, 
if you turn left at the sheepery, there's where we keep our sheep. Well, we will keep our sheep. There's where the sheep was, uh, the, the wool was spawned. Uh, we come past this building and then we reach the flour mill with the huge water bowser. You, you see them in America as well, don't you? These massive water bowsers. I don't know whether these lines actually close or not. I, I'm not sure. Now, this looks like a train station to me. <laughs> oh, I hope my map's right. If not, let me know in the comments. Um, we could probably work it out. What is it? 1323. Three. I haven't got my calculator on me. But it's going to be roughly, say, 17... Uh, uh, 17, 80, about, about 20, about 20 grand. I don't know, that's a guess. It's gonna be. Nope, 22 grand, there we go. I think we're in the right place, I think we're in the right place. I can't see any flour being made though, that's. Hmm. Well, let me know your thoughts on that, peeps. Does it say something flower? I can't see that. What does it say? Nope, nothing. Okay. We may be in the right place. But on my map it says I flower mill and we are at I the flower mill. I don't know what I was expecting to be honest, what a flower mill looks like. I, I, I I just guess like a big sign with a loaf of bread on it or something saying made here. Um, but yeah. So that's not too bad. Getting to the flour mill from our farm is uh, fairly easy. Canola. Where are we going to sell our canola? Canola, the flour mill is at 2474. Well, we haven't been to the warehouse yet, so I might just go to the warehouse. Well, actually, the warehouse is good for corn. Uh, we've been to the diner, been to the flour mill. We haven't been to the restaurant, so I'll sell the canola at the restaurant. And the restaurant is M. Which, oh my god, miles away. Okay. So let's pick up the canola. There's the big silos. We're going to get through quite a lot of fuel, I think, on this map. <laughs> Let's pick the yeah, canola up. And yeah, so basically, they're bottom left. Bottom left we need to go. Um, probably best to go... Out of here, turn left, and then uh, left again at the equipment shop. <coughs> what was that saying? Speed limit 55 miles an hour. Not this one, but the next one. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. I'll just uh, mute my mic for a second. Oh, I'm glad you didn't hear that. <laughs> so take a left at the uh, equipment shop and take this pa this road all the way down to the bottom and you should hit the biogas plant. And the biogas plant is near the restaurant. Just where you, you know, as you're sitting outside with your, with your wife or your girlfriend or your mother or your sister or your friend. I'm just trying to cover all bases here. Um... <laughs> You're just sitting out there and, and you have this whiff of biogas. It must smell lovely. So there's the uh, there's the biogas plant there. You've got your, your four silos as before. And uh, if you want to make some serious money in Farming Simulator, then you need to either have loads and loads and loads of cows or uh, invest in some um, chaff making equipment basically uh, corn if you use a certain type of header it gives you uh, chaff 
and then you uh, basically fill the silos up with chaff you blanket it and when it goes off you sell it to the um, biogas plant for an enormous amount of money that's, that's it in a, in a duck shaft so oh there's a nice house there with it the Americans are very patriotic around here with the flags and stuff which is awesome uh, this here should be the restaurant uh, oh, overlooking an oil field <laughs> okay <laughs> I love the way they uh, thought about this I was actually talking to uh, Brad M73 who's been playing this a while and he's from, he's from America and he, his parents or his family owns a farm and and he said what he thinks about this map he said it's very American to British people <laughs> or to European people in general and I kind of understand what he means it's like, like what we think when uh, we think of a, a, like an American um, uh, farming field you know you think it's going to be really flat it's going to be huge it's, you know, there's going to be water towers and bowsers and stuff you know I, I, I get it I understand but um, but to me it does feel American so I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy but maybe to some uh, some peeps in America it, it may not be true to uh, to what is American farming but I don't want to get into that right we're going to uh, head on back and then Go to the warehouse, aren't we? Uh, where's the best place to sell? So we've been to the restaurant, been to the train station. Oh, I keep doing that. Restaurant, train station, warehouse, for corn. Alright, warehouse in, excuse me, C on my map. And that's, of course, it's going to be, it's going to be the top right, isn't it? Yep. There's no traffic. I've just noticed that it's very um, quiet. I, don't get me wrong, you know, I, I, I moaned about the traffic in the last uh, uh, seasons. But there is no traffic. <laughs> it's just me on my own with a few people hanging around the woolery oh and there's uh, obviously Ewan and Zachary as you can see helping me out so uh, I'm glad he's got his beacon on good boy that's uh, a sackable offence not having your beacon turned on uh oh that's a sackable offence not having your beacon turned on <laughs> alright we'll grab all the corn and we'll make our way to the uh, warehouse So I definitely recommend this when you first start this game. Um, sell your uh, empty silos. It gives you a good injection injection of cash really to get you going. Um, I definitely recommend it. I want to go this way because we go past the um, the village, and I want to sort of quickly check out the village, see what the village is like. I'm glad this is quite close as well. Um, yeah, the only add-on I haven't bought from uh, Giants is the Ursus mod. I don't know. I I, I might just get it because it annoys me saying you have an add-on expansion. You know, it, it's just a couple of things. I don't think it's really worth the money. That's my personal uh, opinion. But. Um, Oh, let me put the map on for you so you guys know where we're going. But uh, I might just get it anyway. Just so it stops popping up on my screen. <laughs> okay, so we're coming into a, like a, a valley or something, like a region. Seems to be... Where are we? Um, six, six. Okay, well there's nothing here. F is a freight yard, which is down there as you can see. Um, yeah, let's just have a 
have a drive around the village see if you can see anybody you know it's just like farming a simulator in the zombie apocalypse <laughs> so no one's really told me about because there's nobody about at all there's oh wow what's that is that a, a golden now it feels American there's a definitely there's a golden uh, stag I don't know what that is is that a it's got big ears or antlers. Stag, deer. Uh, no. It looks quite funky. You, can I bump into you? No, we walk through each other. Okay, so we've got the cannons. It feels very weird. Um, quite nice though. I can hear a lot of car traffic, but <laughs> I haven't seen a car in this game as of yet. Um, so, yeah, this is the town centre. Or well, the epicentre of Westbridge Hills. My corn is like golden, isn't it? It looks like a pot. Have you seen that gold, gold diving or uh, the gold rush? You know, a truck full of gold like this, it'd be worth. There's cars! <gasps> I see cars. Oh, there's a red car. What's your red AI? Yeah. Be careful, you. Are they driving on the right side of the road? Hang on. Uh, yes, they are. And what are these things here? Was that a roundabout or square I just went past? I don't know what that was. At least you got cars. I'm quite happy now. Um. Oh, look! The, look at the uh, the post boxes on the end of the. Uh, oh, very nice. God, these fields are huge. We're gonna need some serious equipment, peeps, to uh, to take this on. I don't know what that. that oh, let's check that place out quickly. Sorry, I'm just being nosy. Like I said, I haven't been on this map, so I just want to... Uh, what are you? You're like the fire station, are you? Ah, yeah, that's what you are. You're a fire station, in case any of these wooden houses <laughs> catch fire. Well, building houses out of wood it isn't a good idea. Oh, sorry. Beacons on. Let's get your way, sir. Have a nice day. Oh, I better drive on the wrong side of the road, haven't I? Here's the baseball grain. Oh yeah, let's check that out. I'm a tractor. I can do things like this. It's the car park. Yeah. And next up on the stump. Uh, right, I got, uh, before I do this, okay, don't trouch me in the comments because I have no idea. I, I, I've probably seen one baseball game in my entire life. Next up on the stumps is a stock of glass. And he looks. And you got the guy behind you, haven't you? With, with, with the crazy gloves and, and, and the mask and stuff. You know, he's like bulletproof, this guy. And he pitches, is that the right word? Pitches and boom! Oh, I run into space! And he quickly runs around. Quick, let's, do, let's do a lap. Yep, this way. Stumps are fully loaded. I've, I've heard that a few times as well. And we're coming over for a home try! Yeah! And the crowd go wild. Alright, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is farming sim stocko, not baseball sim. Anyway, so that's cool to see. Uh, cool to see that. Uh, oh, just want to do one more little thing. Sorry, I just noticed it. Can I get it there? In the stands? Yeah, you can. Oh, cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, Stalker Cross. Okay, um, it's time to go. Sorry about that, peeps. <laughs> uh, don't forget that lock button. <laughs> uh, I'm such a dirt. All right, let's turn around, sell our corn, and then we'll end the episode. I think we sell grass there. You can sell grass. It's like a selling point. But cows eat grass, so I don't think we'll ever be in a position to sell grass. Grass is invaluable in this game. But this is the garden centre, which I've got to be honest, we haven't really used. Oh, I've, I've actually found no need to use the garden centre at all in any of my uh, farming simulators games. So. But there it is in case you want to use it. Now, this is the warehouse. It looks very warehousey. I think you have to drive around the back. Yep, yeah, it's got a warehousey feel to it. So there we go. Let's go set our wares. Brilliant! So we've made over a hundred grand. Uh, I'll tell you what, I think we'll leave the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Soccer Gloss. This is Farmer Simulator 2013, the Titanium add on. This is what you'll be playing on the Xbox and the PS3. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you'd like me to show you, or, or if there's anything in this game which you're not quite sure of that we can all derp together. If I make the mistake, you don't have to. That's the way I look at it. So let me know. Leave your comments down below. As this is my first episode of the uh, the series, uh, season three, please, 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 please throw the like button and uh, leave a nice comment. I'll be very much appreciated. Take care and ciao for now.